Here's a trick I use all the time um, on my portraits, especially if I've taken a portrait outdoors, natural light portraits, whenever the subject is too dark, okay? And this happens to me a lot because the, the way that I like to shoot is I will take a person and I'll kind of direct them so that the sun is behind them, or at least to the side, gives you that nice hair light. Okay, and the, the earlier in the morning, the later in the day, you can do something like this, the better because the sun's lower, it's not going to be as hot on their hair, it's not going to be as bright. But the problem, the problem is that it, the camera, because it's generally pointing at the sun when you do this, their face is going to get dark. Okay, your alternative would be to make an adjustment in camera that's going to brighten the photo, but then this gets too hot. When I say hot, I mean bright. It really starts to get bright over there, almost to the point where it's blown out and it's white. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to lose the detail in the hair. Okay. So we can bring flash. We can bring strobes outside and do this. We can use reflectors, which those things aren't always possible. Okay. I would never would have gotten the shot of the little boy. He had his camera, he was shooting and he was chimping. I thought it was great. He's like looking at the back of the camera through all his pictures. I thought it was cool. So I grabbed a quick photo. Never would have gotten it. His parents love it. Never would have gotten that photo if I had to get gear out to do it. Okay, and I think I would have lost the expression of the, the spontaneity, the whole thing. So I know this happens. It's a very, very quick fix. You come to your adjustments panel, go to occurs adjustment layer, and just drag it up. I don't know how much at this point. Just drag it up so it brightens. Okay, then you come back over to your layers panel. Now, the, the layer mask here is white. I'm going to press Command I on the Mac or Control I on a PC. It's going to turn it to black, and it just hid the entire curves adjustment layer that we have here. So now I need to paint it back in. Select my brush tool, set my foreground color to white because the layer mask is black. So the layer mask is already black. I don't want to make it black. I want, I want to do the opposite. So I set it to white, and I'm just going to start to paint right on here. Okay, I don't even do his shirt. Get his hand, and of course the camera, why not? I don't even get his jeans down here. Just like that. All right. So now let's go take a look. And you don't even have to be real particular about it. It doesn't matter if you, you get all the way out to the edge. Um, I think it's it, most of the time I'm able to do it really quick, uh, you know, 15, 20 seconds tops. Take a look at the difference before after it's like using a reflector over here where we filled in light on his face but instead of carrying a reflector and stopping everything to get the reflector out you just grab a quick photo and know that you can fix you, you can take care of it in about 10 or 15 seconds in photoshop later of course it's a curves adjustment layer meaning if i double click it i can make it brighter or i can make it darker okay just by moving that curve i can affect how much how much brightness and darkness gets put in here and then of course it's on its own layer which means if you want to lessen the effect even more just reduce the opacity okay but honestly I, I i do this quite a bit because whenever i take portraits outdoors i always position the sun i try to position the sun behind them okay because i don't want all these crazy shadows on their face and you don't want them looking at the sun and squinting I always try to position the sun behind them, especially if there's a dark background like this, because it really does give nice separation. Most of the time, it doesn't look like this. Your, it looks When you look at it, it looks like this. It's your camera that sees it like this, because it doesn't have that range. So most of the time, your camera's going to darken it a little bit, because you are pointing at the sun, and you just know. You have to kind of look at it, just look at the hair, make sure the hair looks good, and just know you can come in here and just kind of brighten that up in Photoshop later. But I use it all the time, works great, especially if your subject is too dark, you just want to get a little bit more brightness on them, works out really well. Hope you enjoyed, folks. We'll talk to you again soon.